Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video I'll be covering everything you need to know about our word add-in to help you find, cite and format references for your paper. I'll take you through installing the add-in, searching references and inserting single and group citations, editing citations, formatting your citations and bibliography, and we'll also take a look at some useful features, find citation marks, smart citation suggestions, and accessing and inserting highlights and notes. The add-in is compatible with most recent versions of Word Desktop for Windows and Mac, the browser-based online version of Word, and also Word for iPad. If you don't already have the add-in installed, you can get it from the SciWheel website in the Tools menu here. Alternatively, you can install it from within Word by clicking the Insert tab, then click either the Get Add-ins or Store buttons, search for SciWheel and click Add. If you're using an iPad, you'll need to select See All and scroll until you find SciWheel. Once the add-in is installed, you'll see an extra tab in your Word document labelled SciWheel and a toolbar with the various add-in functions. Click any button and you'll be prompted to sign into your SciWheel account. Once you've signed in, the add-in will open the Insert Citations panel by default. Your library will load, and you can see that you have the option to search for a reference, and to filter references by project, or tag, or sort the reference display by various parameters. In addition to searching and citing from your SciWheel library, you can also search and cite from PubMed or our sister service Faculty Opinions without needing to leave Word. Any references cited from PubMed and Faculty Opinions will be saved to your SciWheel library automatically. You can expand the reference cards to view the abstract here, and view the reference in SciWheel by clicking Open. When you've found the reference you want to cite, simply place your cursor where you want the citation to go and click the Cite button. An unformatted citation will be inserted at the cursor position. To create a citation group, just leave your cursor inside the first citation and continue adding citations. To edit citations, place your cursor inside a citation or citation group and you'll see them listed in a grey box at the bottom of the side panel. You can expand the box either by clicking it or clicking the Edit Citations button in the toolbar and you'll see a few different options for editing and a preview showing how your edited citation will look. For example, if you want to put a page number inside your citation, this can go in the suffix field here. If you want to switch between parenthetical and narrative style citations, click the Display as Author Year button here. Once you've made your changes, just click the Update Citation button. Next, we'll want to format our citations and bibliography in a chosen style. To do this, just click the Format Citations and Bibliography button. In the side panel, you can choose from a style in our default list, or scroll to the bottom of the list and select More Styles to search for one. Once you've found the style you need, click the Update Citations and Bibliography button and your document will be formatted. If you can't find the style you need, just contact our friendly customer support team. One other thing to note here is that this add-in doesn't have any automatic formatting functionality. So as you see, even though I've just formatted, new citations I insert will be unformatted and not included in the bibliography until I use the format function again. Now let's take a look at a few of the other features, starting with Find Citation Marks. This feature is really useful if you just want to quickly enter some keywords to refer back to later without having to use the Insert Citations menu or if you're working offline. It works like this. Enter some keywords in curly brackets. This could be an author name, DOI, PMID or other identifying information. Then click the Find Citation Marks button. The side panel will load and you'll see the number of citation marks you have in the document and suggestions for references that match the keywords in the selected citation mark. Here you can also search in PubMed and Faculty Opinions. Once you've found the right reference, just click the Cite button and the citation mark will be replaced with the chosen citation. You can use the arrows here to scroll between citation marks and just simply repeat the process for each citation mark in your document. The next feature I'd like to show you is Smart Citation Suggestions. This is a premium feature and will analyse a selected section of text and use our smart algorithm to suggest references to cite based on the keywords it finds, perfect for those moments where you have a great passage of text but you're not sure which reference to cite. 
To use Smart Citations, just select a portion of text that you want to get suggestions for and click the Smart Citations button, then click Get Smart Citations. The selected text will be analysed and will return relevant results for you. You can view the reference in the journal website by clicking Open and save it to your SciWheel library by clicking Save. Once you've found the right reference, just click Cite to insert the citation at the cursor position. The last thing I'd like to show is the Project References and Notes feature. This will let you access the highlights and notes you've made and insert them into the document, which can be really handy in the earlier stages of writing to help you develop ideas and refer back to important passages in references. To get started, just click the Project References and Notes button and select a project. You can switch between the references and the highlights and notes. In the Notes section, you'll see a list of highlights and notes made in references in the selected project, and you can choose to either cite or insert. Choosing Insert will insert the text of the note you made, along with the highlighted section of the document, and the citation for the reference. So that's an overview of our add-in for Word. I hope it's been useful, and as always, if you have any problems, questions or suggestions, please contact us via the help chat in the SciWheel site, or by emailing feedback at scywheel.com. Thanks for watching.